space heater on in my little cubby hole my little uh, <laughs> old fart old man thick ribbon man cave in the basement tucked away where I should be out of harm's way just take my medication let the world do what it's gonna do but anyway uh, I've got a show to do so <laughs> how you doing how you doing gang <laughs> Uh, keep warm this morning. That's about uh, all you can really say. It's not, but it is warm enough. That's for sure. This is Captain Boomer to you, coming to you with my little, uh, my little uh, self-induced, self-medicated show um, from the beautiful, from beautiful downtown Ramsey, Minnesota. Thank you if you're listening, and if you're not, you are among the smart ones. <laughs> Uh, thank you guys, whoever is listening. Big, big shout out to my brother. He did his show. I think I gave him a plug before. Bruce down in Mankato, playing at the Coffee Hague. And uh, from what I understand, he well, he always does a good job. I I don't see him as much as I should. Um, it's a little dry, but I you know that's still a bullshit excuse sometimes. And anyway, um, so and then a shout out to my cousin Susie. And uh, I wasn't going to do a show this morning because I it, it getting to that point where uh, yeah, he almost wondered what the hell this is all about. I mean, uh, I don't know. Yeah, it's, you get to that time, I don't care what you do, and you figure, what the hell is it all about? I mean, I would like to get some feedback, but I can't seem to get any feedback from anybody. I mean, I don't care what kind of feedback it is. I'll take any feedback I can get. I'm old and decrepit and medicated. But uh, anyway, so that's probably not going to happen. But anyway, uh, I'd really appreciate it because, anyway, we're going get to a, get a uh, cousin Susie. Yeah, babe. You know who you are. A special kiss coming right at you, babe. I was going to talk a little bit about uh, our sponsors for one thing. Got to have sponsors, even though mine are make-believe and... I make them all up as I make up this whole, this whole thing, this whole gig. It's all made up. It's all bullshit. Keeps me young, keeps me active. Speaking of that, I don't know. Oh, well, first I'd like to say this. This little boomer show of mine is by a boomer. It's for a boomer. And it's about the boomers. And uh, that's pretty, that's pretty much it. And that's it in a nutshell. Thank you. All right. Uh, and if you haven't take, took in your, taken your meds yet, guys, please do so. Uh, but please, it's, uh, it's in the, I know you probably get it, you think it's nighttime, but it's not. It's a.m. It's still dark. So don't take your night tank meds. I mean, if you're up and around, I mean, I mean, you know, we can get disorientated. So, okay, uh, this is a big alert. <laughs> you guys, don't take your nighttime meds. It's not nighttime, okay? I've done it a few times, and boy, that's not good. You have one hell of a, one hell of a rest of the day. <laughs> okay, I just thought I'd shoot that out there to you. What I was going to say was about anybody, uh, I've been drinking this apple cider stuff, the mothers or whatever it is. Got me one of those juicer things. Um, yeah, I don't know. Um, it can't hurt. It's not hurting. Um, so I feel pretty good. And, uh, yeah. But uh, this, show, this show is entitled... Uh, heating pads and hot toddies and uh, although this is not the coldest morning we've had but it's still uh, cold enough 
It's crazy down there, Florida. Huh? I love it. I love it. They got ice down there. It's 32 degrees or 40, whatever. I love it. Anyways, one thing for sure like that was on a Facebook. You don't worry about bugs, mosquitoes, and gators, and, and big water snakes, and all sorts of crap down there like you do in Florida. You know what I mean? I'd rather have the four months, five months out of the year where all that, all those bugs and critters and viruses and nasty stuff and crap is all tucked away. It ain't coming back for a whole nother year. You know, that's why we're so healthy up here. I think that's part of the reason. Don't you? I do. Yeah. I mean, it, it, we're going to get colds so and we're going to get flu. You can't get away from that. But I mean, I'm talking about overall serious, uh, you know, uh, illnesses and stuff like that. I think we do pretty good. And so, anyway, um, yeah, don't forget, guys, uh, the villages of Viagra, where a hard day is a hard day is even a good day. Yes, and I still got to get that out there. Okay, got the villages of Viagra out of the way, and what else? We got to get a few things out of the way. Uh, I know the wife would like to get the hell me out of the way. Uh, but I'm not bothering. She's sleeping. I mean, she worked last night. Or did she? Dun, 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 the plot thick, and we'll have to check into that stuff, you know. You know what I'm saying? Oh, shut up. I'm not letting you out of the closet. Shut up. Oh, what's this? Okay. Okay, guys, don't forget January 28th, please. Jan on a serious note. January 28th is um, National, uh, well, I'd like to s love to see it be that become that. National, uh, well, my personal National Agent Orange Day, I hope you join in. January 28th is uh, Agent Orange uh, Recognition Day, Agent Orange Awareness Day. And, um, yeah, if you get a chance on that day, please put, post it out there somewhere that you're wearing orange or, uh, you know, whatever. If you're not, can't, not wearing orange, have something orange in your hand, uh, whatever, just do it. <laughs> I know it sounds crazy, but I'm telling you that stuff is not crazy. It's, it's very serious, very serious stuff that the U.S. government imposed upon us over in the lovely um, Southeast Asia. So, um, yeah, so anyway, if you get a chance, do that, please. I'm going to be playing a little bit of warm music song for you here in a little bit. We're going to be going that back down to Margaritaville with Jimmy Buffett line. Oh, yeah. We're going to listen to Jimmy Buffett. Have a few of his tunes. And, yeah, so stay tuned for that. What's this? I came across my bo uh, my uh, teleprompter here. Okay, now you got to keep it. You, you really got to read into this one. Let's see if you can catch this one, guys. I kissed her lips goodbye and left her behind. For you. All right. I kissed her lips goodbye and left her behind for you. All right. You guys get that one? All right. I hope you do. If you did uh, call in, oh my God. I didn't even say it yet. They know what I want. The phones are lighting up. Yep. We got the, the first caller that can uh, tell me exactly what that uh, means. Uh, well, when they, uh, what are they going to win here, Bob? I don't know. Well, they got to win something. They what? They win a polka CD, a polka song CD by Frankie Yankovic and the Six Fat Dutchman. And uh, you can't beat that. To tell you one thing about polka music, I love it personally. I never really danced to polka. I might have when I was a younger, younger dude, and I was really still drinking back then. I'm sure I must have somewhere. I don't recall, but. But one thing about polka music, I don't care. You could change the words and lyrics to be the worst stuff, but I'm telling you, that polka beat and, and stuff, it just gets you, if you can't get up at least half your feet to polka, I mean, something's wrong with you, seriously. The polka music is just, un to me, it's magical. I don't want her, you can have her, she's too fat for me, she's too fat for me, she's too fat for me, you know, that kind of stuff like that. 
And boy, I'm telling you, that stuff will get you fired up and right, yeah. And I wrote a song about that stuff too. I wrote a song, of, well actually, I'm still writing it and I never put it out there, but one of these days, uh, I might uh, put it out there for all my peop my, my uh, massive amount of friends and listeners up in the northeast part of Minneapolis. I myself grew up in south of Minneapolis, but that's not to say that we don't uh, we don't cater and we don't uh, love our uh, Polish and Ukraine friends uh, up in the, the northeast part of the Minneapolis. But anyways, yeah. But you guys, you know, you that polka music. It was called. Oh, yeah, that's right. It was called the Stroka Polka. It's about this guy who gets up and he dances. He finally gets up. But he's in his nineties and he gets out there and he's cutting the rug. Get on. All of a sudden, he starts holding his chest. Don't you know? Holding his chest and stuff. And why? Because he's having a stroke. So they named this song after him. And he was up there trying to dance. They thought he was trying to make up a new kind of a polka dance out there, movements and stuff, you know. But he wasn't. He was having a stroke. So, anyway, he was up there and he died right on the floor. But anyways, he was doing the stroke polka. All right. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, <laughs> yes, I know. I know. Help me too. Okay. Well, what the hell are we doing here? I got to find this button here now. I got buttons, gadgets, and crap, and noisemakers, and all over the place. Okay, here we go. Are you ready, gang, for a little bit of Jimmy Buffett? Let's do a little bit of Jimmy Buffett. For a little Jimmy Buffett. I don't know how these professional guys do this stuff. Of course, they got it. Here we go. Watching the sun bake All the way to the rhythm coming in on Got my six friends On my front porch swing They're making the bottom Come on now Wasted away Searching for my lost Igarus song. Some people claim that there's a wonder place. It's nobody's fault. I don't know the reason. I stayed here all season. Nothing to show but this brand new tattoo But is that real beauty? I'm How we got here I haven't a clue Here we go. 